Okay, this is part two of the account recovery process. We are jumping straight into it. So let's show you how to start and do the account recovery. Okay, so we are going to go right into our test phone and we are going straight to the website iforgot.apple.com. Once we're in here, we are going to have to put in our super fake Apple ID. You're going to put in your real Apple ID. This is the ID that I use for testing purposes. And like I said before, this will be deleted by the time these videos go up. So don't get any ideas. This will be long gone you are not going to be able to get into it. And I just use it for testing purposes anyway. So, but anyway, you're gonna put in your Apple ID and once you do that, you are then going to hit continue. Now I can't show you the next screen here. Okay, so on the previous screen, you have to put in the trusted phone number. So it will show you the last two digits of the number and then you've gotta make sure that you're putting in the entire phone number. Now. If you're lucky, you're going to be able to get the code. If you get the code, then you might be able just to reset your password right then and there. Um, but if you don't get the code, then what you're going to have to click on, because let's say your phone is disabled or, or it, it run over or something, you have to click on don't have access to your iPhone. That was there in blue at the bottom. So. It gives you these two options here. Reset your password while signing in on a new device. Well, you can't do that because you can't get the verification code. Or it says use someone else's iOS device. Well, I covered that in the last video. Unless you set up somebody else's device ahead of time, you're not gonna get the code that you need. So you don't have an option. You have to click on can't use any of these options. And so like it's saying here, without another, um, way you're going to have to and I'll let I'll you should probably pause it and read it but what you're going to end up hitting here is continue anyway because this is how you are now starting the account recovery process so you would hit continue anyway and then that would get us to the next screen here so it might be asking you to enter the code that it would have tried to send to your phone but you don't have it so what you've got to click on is you know, I uh, didn't get the code because you, you don't have access to the, vi the device. And then it's asking you, okay, we'll, we'll put in the code that we just sent to your email account. Well, maybe you don't have access to that email account. So you can't put in that code either. And I can get rid of the block here. So if you don't have access to like this iCloud.com, let's say I don't have access to this email, so I'm not getting the code that they're sending. So I have to go ahead and click on can't use this email address. So I don't have a choice. I've got to go ahead and hit, you know, can't use this email address. So I wasn't able to put in the code that they sent to my phone because maybe my phone was broke. I can't put in the verification code because I didn't get the e or I didn't get the code to the email. Um, so I'm, I have to click on can't use this email address and it says without verifying your email, you may need to wait longer. Yep, that's fine. So then on this screen, you're going to put in your phone number of where you can be reached. So I just put in, I think, a bunch of fake numbers here. Yeah, I sure did. So don't misread this screen. You've got to put in a phone number where you can actually be reached. So that could actually be, um, you know, a friend or family. It's just someone who was actually going to be able to receive the text message or receive the phone call. Um, that is going to allow you to reset the password. So you've got to make sure that you're putting in on that screen a phone number where Apple can basically contact you. Now, remember, it's automated. It's not somebody who's going to be calling you up to tell you. It's going to be either a text message or an automated phone call. Now, word of warning. 
don't screw this up. If you've gotten this far and you've started the account recovery process, this is where people sometimes make a mistake. And of all the mistakes to make, don't make this one. But let's say you start the account recovery and you've had to wait a week. Okay, so the week is up. All of a sudden, your friend contacts you and says, hey, you know, I got the text message uh, to reset your password. You have to reset your password as soon as possible because the text message that was sent has a link. The link will take you straight to a website. When you get to that website, um, it's going to allow you to be able to put in a new password for your Apple ID. Okay, so as soon as you get that text message, you've got to do it because that link will expire in three hours. Nowhere do they really tell you this. Uh, I tried kind of finding documentation that supports that, but it's not. I couldn't find anything, but trust me, it's three hours. You've got three hours, so don't wait. Don't hesitate. When you get that text message or you receive that phone call, go in and use the code reset your password immediately. Um, because if you go over the three hours, guess what you get to do? You get to do the whole thing all over again. Won't that be a joy? No, no, it won't. So don't wait, don't hesitate, reset the password. All right, so that is it. This is a short, short video because I just wanted to kind of show you exactly what to do in order to reset your uh, password doing the account recovery process. If you're somebody who's watching this, uh, you found it beneficial, hit like, hit subscribe, come on back, learn how to become an iPhone expert. Uh, and if you are somebody who just kind of skipped ahead to start the account recovery, uh, and you did not watch my previous video, I strongly urge you to go back and watch it because I try to cover everything that you need to know about account recovery so that you are never in this situation ever, ever again. And I cover all the information that can kind of screw you up after you start the account recovery process. But with that being said, if you found this useful, hit like, hit subscribe, and don't forget to send this video, send it to your friends and family. Uh, let me help turn them into iPhone experts as well. Alrighty, guys, thanks so much, and we will see you next time. See ya.